What do you want your website to do? How about let you quickly and easily build and manage web pages for any occasion? Build an informational product page that tells people about what you do. Build a multimedia gallery page that lets visitors share videos and interact with each other. Or launch a global campaign and support it with a page that captures site visitor information. How do you build and manage your web pages today? What if there was an easy way for anyone, regardless of technical knowledge, to create and manage web pages? Ektron CMS 400.net's new page builder functionality does just that. With a combination of wireframes and widgets, web managers and subject matter experts can quickly and easily build new web pages for their site. Not only can they build web pages, they can leverage functionality like permissions, approvals, workflows, history, web alerts, and search engine optimization at the page level as well. In addition, Page Builder will expedite your time to web because all tasks in a Page Builder project lifecycle can be completed in parallel with each other. Using the Page Builder methodology, each web team member is given the tools to maximize their strengths for the project at hand to ensure success. Page Builder lets anyone, regardless of technical experience, build and manage web pages for their website, intranet, or extranet. Meet Jane. Jane is the web production manager of Ektron Tech's website. The first page that Jane needs to build is an informational product page. She can begin by accessing the Ektron Tech website and logging in. Next, she can navigate to the area on the site where she wants to add the page to. Since Jane has permissions to create new pages, she can create a new page from this existing page. Once Jane clicks on New Page, the Add New Page wizard opens. On the first screen, she can specify a title for the page. While she is typing in the title, a suggested alias is offered. Jane can keep or change this alias if she wanted to, but she will welcome the suggestion and keep it. Next, she can pick the page extension to be applied to the page. Displayed are the extensions that are registered in the site, but this can really be anything. You can even force all pages to use one standard extension. For this new page, Jane is going to choose not to have an extension. Next, Jane is going to choose the wireframe to be used for the new page. Displayed here are some wireframes that have been registered in the system already. The automatically generated thumbnail also shows the location of the drop zone within the wireframe. Since Jane is just creating a simple product page, she's going to choose the two-column wireframe. On the next screen, Jane can optimize the page to search engines by specifying title, keywords, a description, and any other additional metadata for the page. In the Taxonomy tab, she can categorize the page to specify how people can navigate to the page or filter in the search results. And in the Summary tab, Jane can include a brief summary about what the page is, which will be used in search results on the site. Once completed, Jane clicks Finish. The new page is saved, and she is asked if she would like to navigate to the new page to begin adding widgets to it. She clicks OK. The first thing that Jane wants to do is add a content block to the middle of the page. Now that she is in Edit View of the page, Jane can access all of the widgets that have been registered and associated for this wireframe from the ribbon menu. As you can see, Jane has access to plenty of widgets, but there is one specifically that she wants. Instead of going through each widget one by one, Jane can start typing in the name of the widget that she is looking for, and the list will filter as she types. With the content block widget available, she can now drag and drop the widget from the toolbar into one of the drop zones on the page. While she is dragging the widget, she is only able to add it to registered drop zones on the page. She can drop the widget in the drop zone when she receives the confirmation message, Drop Control Here. With the widget on the page, Jane can edit the widget to display the content block that she wants to. Clicking Edit on the widget displays the edit properties of the widget in a modal window. From here, Jane can find the content by browsing the folder tree via the taxonomy or doing a straight-out search. 
Since she knows that the content authors do a good job tagging content when they create it, she is going to look for the content through the taxonomy. Sure enough, the content is right where she expected. With the content selected, Jane can view some additional information about the content in the preview pane, including date modified, author, and teaser information. Since this is the right content block, Jane can save her changes. Back on the web page, the correct content block is displayed in the widget. However, the image in the copy isn't aligned properly. Before, during, or after Jane builds this page, content authors can leverage the in-context editor to make a simple fix like the alignment of the image. The inline editor has all of the same content editing capabilities as the full editor in the CMS. Image properties can be set. Text can be added and formatted. And a spell check is available to ensure complete spelling accuracy. In addition, the in-context editor adheres to all of the same approvals, workflows, and permissions that the full editor does as well. Jane can complete the page by adding a featured customer image rotator that is being managed by an Ektron smart form, as well as a tabbed content viewer. With the changes made, Jane can complete her editing by performing a workflow action. She can choose to save and check in the page, save and keep the page checked out to her so that no one else can make changes, or she can save and submit the changes for approval. Since Jane has publishing permissions, the changes will be live on the site immediately. But since the page isn't linked from anywhere on the site yet, they will be hidden from site visitors. Since Jane's Multimedia Guy finished up the promo video, she is going to create the new Multimedia page. Jane can create the new page from here. The steps are the same for creating the new page. Title, alias, wireframe. For this page, however, she's going to choose the one column wireframe. She'll go through the usual optimization, categorization, and summary steps, and finally create the page. On the edit page, the first thing that she's going to do is add the multimedia video. As you can see, in the widget toolbox, there are fewer widgets since the developer chose to only associate multimedia and Web 2.0 widgets with this wireframe. From here, Jane is going to drag and drop the Flash widget into the page. The Flash widget lets Jane browse for the multimedia on her local machine or network, then upload it to her website. Once uploaded, the Flash widget offers other properties to Jane including height, width, auto start, and even lets her choose a graphic that will appear on the movie before someone clicks play. With the changes made, Jane can click save and the flash video is now displayed on the page. If Jane wanted to, she could have used the YouTube or Brightcove widgets to host the video on those content delivery networks and stream them into her site. Jane will finish up the page by adding some Web 2.0 functionality like a message board and the content review or five-star rating widget. Even though the required widgets are used on the page, Jane isn't totally happy with the look and feel of the page. Since the developer set this drop zone to allow people to add additional columns, Jane decides to make this a two-column layout instead. She can now drag and drop widgets from one column to the other. Since Jane has the tools at her fingertips to build the new pages on the Ektron Tech site, the new product launch went off without a hitch. Visitors learned about the product, watched the video, and provided some useful feedback. And the team even got a handful of leads from the campaign that went out. Jane can't take all of the credit for the success. She wouldn't have been able to build the pages if it weren't for her developer, Tom, who had built the wireframes and widgets for the site. Let's take a look at the developer's role in page building. Ektron's page builder is flexible and easy to use, allowing anyone to build and manage pages on their website. Building pages is easy because of the add page wizard and the ability to drag and drop widgets onto your web pages and easily set their properties. By combining wireframes, widgets, and Ektron's revolutionary URL aliasing technology, you can create and easily manage an infinite amount of pages on your site. What's better? Your pages can now leverage the same benefits that content blocks have been taking advantage of like SEO, workflows, history, web alerts, and more. 
Included with CMS400.net at no additional cost, Ektron's Page Builder will save you time and money and will forever change the way you build pages on the web. What do you want your website to do? Do it with Ektron CMS400.net and Page Builder technology. Want to learn more about Ektron's Page Builder? Sign up for a live one-on-one -on -one instant demo with an Ektron CMS expert and learn about how you can use Page Builder to get the most out of your website. Download a free trial of CMS400.net and check out page building on your own. Or call us at 1-877-4-WEB-CMS and have your questions answered.